Mpenzi mtazamaji kama ndio kwanza nafungua channel yako ya TV TV tafadhali subscribe ili uwe mwanzo kupata video zetu mbali mbali za ndani na nje ya nchi. Share video hii bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwani ni muhimu sana. As I observe our society today I realize that there has evolved a culture that is not conducive to rapid development and I see this in a number of areas. They include an entrenched behavior of not valuing time as an important resource. At such lack of punctuality at workplaces, meetings and other occasions is very common. Dishonesty and unfaithfulness at workplaces continues to persist. Hard work and diligence have been eroded and are being replaced by unscrupulous means to earn a living. A large number of our youth in urban areas are idle and, sp and spend most of their time hanging out, vijiweni, or gambling. Furthermore, there are widespread beliefs that irrespective of one's qualifications and experience, one cannot secure a job in the formal sector unless you know someone influential. Employment on merit is considered to be rare. It is also worrisome that a growing number of our young men are entering into marital relationships with older women. Wanaito mashangaz who are better off, and they do this as an easy way to make ends meet. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my humble view that we, as a country, need a cultural revolution to reverse such behaviors and practices. And this must be underpinned by down-to-earth socioeconomic research and strategies. It is my honest request to ESRF and other think tanks in our country to focus on such areas going forward in order to inform our collective endeavors to engineer a radical shift from such practices for a better and prosperous Tanzania. The six-phase government is committed to continue working and supporting economic research and policy analysis undertaken by ESRF and other local think tanks. Our ambition in government is to scale up research funding and investment in research supportive infrastructure. The government shall also continue to urge ministries, departments and agencies to use services rendered by ESRF to inform the development of sectoral policies and strategies. Equally, the government will continue to encourage the private sector, civil society organizations, development partners, and other players, both local and international, to work with or partner with ESRF. And with regard to the challenge of growing competition from consulting firms, I think the key weapon at ESRF's disposal uh, is, in my view, to ensure quality research output and for ESRF to maintain excellence. And this will need investing in attracting the best research and analytical brains as well as pay them well. In other words, for ESRF to command a fair share of the research and policy analysis market, it must observe meritocracy in staff recruitment. And besides, it is for a fact that fair competition is healthy in so far as it guarantees the best product. And to deal with the financing constraint, I would advise that ESRF looks more towards partnering with the private sector as well as our 
generous development partners. Tiv TV inakupatia video mbali mbali kutoka ndani na nje ya nchi. Tafadhali endelea kutufuatilia kupitia channel yetu ya Tiv TV, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter na Instagram. Bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwani ni muhimu sana. Tiv TV tupo kijamii zaidi.